You're listening to the Source Property Podcast, your number one source of tips and tricks for starting your property business. Hello and welcome back to the Sourced Property Podcast. Today I'm here with Gary and Natalie and they will be joining us on one of our new series, From the Ground Up. So Gary and Natalie, just want to tell us a little bit about how you got into property? Yeah. Go on, you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so back in 2010, I lost my job due to the economic downturn in 2008. Um, so went through a bit of a rough a rough couple of years and then I ended up going back to the plant where it was the steelworks and I went back because it'd been opened up by new owners but quite quickly realised that it was really struggling mm. and the chances of it staying open very was going to be very right? slim mm. and I didn't want to be put back in the position I was in 2010. So I left there and I went offshore and I was contracting. So I, I didn't really have any safety. Um, I was always aware that the job could be pulled from under my feet at any time. And then I was relying on what money I had in savings. Um, so we were accidental landlords. We had a flat that was our first property that we bought together yeah. that we lived in. And then we rented that out and we bought our own house as the family grew. That kind of gives us the bug for buying more property yeah. and from that to have the safety net of having a second income yeah. away from my mm. work was what got us going into property. Right. And we'd, we'd kind of gone on a bit of a, a bug of other incomes anyway because I was involved in network marketing at the time so yeah. it was something that consciously we were actively seeking yeah. you know other incomes and you know trying to be in a position where we were a bit more flexible yeah. and not just relying having obviously Gary had lost his job before having been in that position we didn't want to be in that position did we so we were just both of us sort of seeking other things yeah. um, and because we'd had that property beforehand we were kind of like right okay let's see what else we can do here brilliant and how did you find it progressing before you joined source in terms of did you have much support around you um yeah we had a little bit we've mm -hmm. done courses um spent an absolute fortune yeah <laughs> just a very um, small one <laughs> Typical of you do a course, you come out and then you've forgotten 90% of what yeah. was on the course. Um, we start, sort of started networking and getting in touch with a, a few people that I worked with and knew from the area that were doing a bit of property, so that helped. Yeah. Um, and that was what led us on to our first couple of properties was th through our network. Mm. Um, that's how we get gained our first two properties. So. Brilliant. And how have you found it since joining Source? Yeah, brilliant. I think the thing with Sourced for me is that it sort of takes the shackles off where, yeah. you, where you limit yourself yeah, you to do. what you can do. With Sourced, you know, you've got the support and you can access the finance to do more deals, bigger stuff. The training. The yeah. training. Yeah. Yeah. I think when we, when we set out, we were like, right, okay, what can, what can we achieve on our own? Yeah. You know, what, what have we got the capability and the capacity to do on our own? So we'd set, like, we had our strategy and we didn't deviate from that because that was all we could manage yeah. on our own. Yeah. Um, and then, like Gary said, as soon as we did join Sourced, um, it was like, there was no limits. Yeah. Everything became limitless yeah. into what we could achieve, which was really, really good. Good, and I think a lot of people do that. They try to do everything by themselves and it's actually okay yeah. to ask yeah. for help. And, yeah, and, yeah. You know, continue to learn different strategies exactly yeah so what do you think that source has done to help you achieve yeah so one of the big things for me is is like when you're doing your due diligence yeah you've got somebody to lean on and ask their opinion yeah and an extra yeah especially, yeah especially if it's a new territory something that you haven't yet done yeah. or something yeah. that is a bit bigger than what you've been used to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, having source to just go to and say, yeah. right, can you just walk me through this, make sure I'm not missing anything, yeah. and you know, that's great, isn't it? A, a good thing as well is, and it's something I've heard so much along my journey is to take the emotion out of it. Yeah. Well, if, if I'm looking at a deal, 
and I've got a bit of emotion involved in there, by going to your support person that then might go to Source Capital, it takes that emotion out mm -hmm. of it and then you can come back and give some feedback and say, I don't think it's a very good deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it takes it away from you. And we're not here to be harsh at the end of the day. It, you know, it's business, isn't it? And you have yes. to take your emotions yeah. out of it. And we're just here to make sure that all the numbers work and hopefully yeah. get your deals progress as yeah. quickly as possible. Yeah. So, what do you think next steps are going forwards? So, our goals for this year is to do a JV with Sourced. Yeah. It's one Brilliant. of the big ones, which is another massive bonus to being a Sourced franchisee. Yeah. 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 Um, we'd like to start sourcing deals on to investors, yeah. packaging them up, um, and then just continually grow our portfolio. So add another couple of properties to our own portfolio. Yeah, would be nice. That sounds and good. then you leave work. Yeah, <laughs> that's the plan. Well, obviously, we're here today to go in a couple of viewings, yeah. get your leads set up so you can start generating leads for sourcing. Yeah push down the option as well and then yeah. we'll just go over your 90 day plan to make sure that we've got a set plan for the next quarter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. brilliant. Lovely. Lovely. Thanks for joining us Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> your finger up your nose. <laughs> Typical <laughs> child. <laughs> Toe rag. Um, how, how did you come across Source just before we finished? Uh, it was actually a conversation I was having with someone yeah. and I was talking about finding it difficult to raise finance yeah. mm. and they said why don't you look at sourced so yeah. I started looking into sourced and then inquired um, and, it was and then we just jumped straight in. Off, so was it the finance initially that attracted you and then yes yeah, it was yeah. 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 yeah 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 brilliant brilliant well the journey's been good so far and let's yeah. keep up the momentum yeah, yeah. cool how do you find managing your time as well? You've got four children, Natalie, you homeschool as well, yeah. you work offshore, so yeah. I just want to talk a little bit about... Yeah, I mean, it is hard. It's, you know, it, I'm not going to dress it up and I'm certainly not going to say, oh yeah, it's a piece of cake, because yeah. it, it isn't and it does come with its challenges. Yeah. Um, obviously Gary being away a lot of the time so we what we find is we do pick up some momentum when he's home yeah. and then he's gone so yeah. that momentum is um, lost quite quickly so that's that's a struggle in itself without even the children involved because you know especially in this game you kind of um, you need to be ensuring that you're doing your daily tasks and you know following up and just keeping on top of it yeah. for things to flow and also things to progress in that speed so when he goes it's it's a that's a struggle yeah. um but we just do our best and obviously where the children are concerned this what we're doing is for the children um, and it's for their future yeah. so we just kind of you know we include them as much as we can we involve them we take them on property um, you know viewings that doesn't stop Get us that sweeping yeah in, in a, exactly in our um, refurbs have been you know hands-on the, the guys that with the team that we've got has been really good and they've been letting them do like get involved and put tiles on and things like that so that's mm. really good and it's really fun but it's great for them to be a part of it and to see what we're doing, you know. And, and also see the graph that goes in. A hundred percent, because it's preparing them for hopefully, you know, one day they might step in our shoes and, yeah. and follow it on. That's what we hope anyway, but... Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, and then it sets them up for the future. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. And, um, look forward to the next time we catch up. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.